Good afternoon. Guns and crime bills are getting focused from Governor Michelle Lujan Grisham just days now from the start of the next legislative session next week. News 13's Natalie Wattis is in the Roundhouse this evening with more on the bills that the governor is urging lawmakers to focus on. Natalie. Dean, the governor presented a package of roughly 20 bills, of which she claims almost all have bipartisan support. This is the biggest, most comprehensive public safety package, um, uh, I think, probably in the history of the, of the legislature. The governor identifying nearly 21 proposed bills and ideas Friday aimed at tackling public safety in New Mexico, which she says largely have bipartisan support. It's the, it's the most together we've been on addressing public safety, crime, and gun violence since I've been involved in government. <coughs> and certainly since I've been um, the governor. Much of the list sets its sights on gun regulation. We have a gun problem, ladies and gentlemen, and we have a public safety problem. We have a responsibility to our children, to families, to communities to solve it, and I believe this package goes a long way to do just that. Notable among them, a push for strict rules on assault weapons, including penalties for having one. That idea sponsored by Representative Andrea Romero. This bill takes a new approach to regulating assault weapons by preventing modifications that the gun manufacturers might try to make to skirt around the law. Romero is also bringing back her bill for a 14-day waiting period for firearm sales. Representative Rena Shapansky is fighting again to raise the legal age to buy guns to 21, and Senate Majority Floor Leader Peter Wirth is also trying to revive his bill banning guns in polling places. Guns and voting is a toxic combination. The governor is also pushing for harsher criminal punishments, like making a felon with a firearm punishable by up to nine years in prison. The governor is also trying to make her public health order banning guns in parks and playgrounds permanent with new law. I believe unequivocally that the vast majority, if not all of these bills, pass this legislative session. The governor says this is not the final list. They expect to add more bills as they roll in. Back to you. All right, Natalie, thank you. Across the aisle, Republicans reacted to the governor's legislative agenda. Thank you. Anything that she's repurposing, let's, let's make sure the credit goes where they go, and that is Republicans have been introducing these year over year. And just now, because of political pressure, the governor will introduce them. Farmington Representative Rod Montoya saying nine separate Republican bills targeting crime died last session. He claims Democrats are targeting the wrong issues and not prioritizing law-abiding citizens. He says Republicans will keep filing bills, including a push toward changing what Montoya calls catch-and-release policies. 